Hey guys, so today I have swatches of the new Cirque Colors Far Far Away collection. I have eight very sparkly, shimmery polishes to show you, so these are available right now. They launched today. I will link the Cirque Colors website down below where you guys can check these out. I also have a coupon slash affiliate code with Cirque Colors, so I will have that up on the screen and in the description box. Eight polishes here all together, and I will get into the swatches. So the first polish is called Last Unicorn, and this is described as a sheer white with indigo, blue to purple, color shifting, aurora shimmer, and intense scattered holographic. This is sheer and a bit milky on that first coat. The formula is really good. That blue shimmer that's in there is really strong, and there's a good amount of those holographic flakies. It starts to build on that second coat, but it is still pretty sheer. I have a lot of nail lines showing. This is one of those polishes that's not going to build up completely for me. It has more of that sheer, ethereal look to it. So with the third coat, I could still see my nail line a bit. The color built up, the milkiness kind of built up a bit more, but there was still some clear, visible nail line. Again, I think that's kind of the intended look here. So that is three coats of Last Unicorn. The next polish is called Radiant Realm, and this is described as a sheer gold pearl shimmer with intense scattered holographic. So again, sheer on the first coat. These first three polishes are intended to be more sheer and kind of soft and ethereal at the end. I know I'm really pounding that point home here, but I spent so many years criticizing polishes for being sheer, and now it's the intended look, and I feel like I have to make that really clear. This actually builds pretty well on that second and third coat. I had a little bit of nail line showing, but it wasn't as much as I expected for it having sheer right there in the description. It actually covered pretty well. So that is three coats of Radiant Realm. The next polish is called True Love's First Kiss, and this is described as a sheer cool pink with sparkling aqua shimmer and intense scattered holographic. Again, sheer on the first coat, but actually pretty decent color payoff. I can see that pink shade really well. I was expecting a sheer pink base to kind of just blend into my nail on the first coat, but it's very clearly pink. And this one also started to build up pretty well in that second and third coat. It's got sheer in the description, so again, I was expecting this to be more sheer. But after that third coat was on there, I had a little bit of nail line, but I really had to look for it. It wasn't super obvious at all. So that is three coats of True Love's First Kiss. The next polish is called Pixie Hollow, and this is described as a periwinkle blue-violet polish with green to pink color shifting shimmer and intense scattered holographic. Great formula on this, a little bit sheer on that first coat, but not terrible, and you get a lot of coverage from that contrasting green shimmer because it's very, very strong. This covered completely for me in two coats. I do think it was kind of straddling the fence between two and three coats. I was like completely good with it in two, but I could see where longer nails, a wider nail line, thinner coats, or a different application could make you need three coats, but that's if you're really trying to wipe that nail line out. So that is two coats of Pixie Hollow. The next polish is called Grimoire Glitz, and this is described as a slate gray with pink to gold to green color shifting aurora shimmer and intense scattered holographic. Again, a little bit sheer on that first coat, but there is a lot of very strong shimmer and a lot of holographic little specks in there that do give a lot of coverage to the polish. I was good with this in two coats. Again, like the last one, I could see maybe needing three just depending on what you're going for and how you apply it, but I don't think it's super likely. So that is two coats of Grimoire Glitz. The next polish is called Dragon's Dungeon, and this is described as an oxblood red with dazzling indigo blue to purple color shifting aurora shimmer and intense scattered holographic. Very not red to me, but it is a very saturated jelly base. Great formula, and it's very even as well. It built really well on the second coat, but I felt like I could just get it a little deeper of a purple and a little more purple and less ready purple with a third coat. So I added the third coat and it did change the color quite a bit. I don't think that you need three coats for full coverage, but to get this final color, I think you should probably do three. So that is three coats of Dragon's Dungeon. The next polish is called Scorched Sorceress, and this is described as a black polish with dazzling red to gold to green color shifting aurora shimmer and intense scattered holographic great formula on this one as well. It has that like smoky black gray jelly base to it and a very cool, very strong shifty shimmer. I love that orange red shift that this has. This also covered completely for me in two coats, but again, while I don't think it's super likely to need three, I wouldn't completely rule it out depending on the person. So that is two coats of Scorched Sorceress. 
And the last polish is called Elixir of Everlasting Life, and this is described as an emerald green with dazzling blue to purple to pink to orange, color-shifting aurora shimmer, and intense scattered holographic. Great formula on this one as well. A fairly saturated jelly base. It also went on very evenly. The shimmer was definitely there, but it was less of a contrasting shimmer, so it didn't stand out quite as much as it did in other polishes in the collection. But that scattered holographic stood out really nicely. And this covered completely for me in two coats. Again, I wouldn't rule out three with a very white nail line or longer nails, but I don't think it's super likely. So that is two coats of Elixir of Everlasting Life. So Pixie Hollow is by far my favorite. My eyes snapped to this bottle as soon as I got everything out of the package. It looks amazing on the nails, that color shifting, it looks amazing on the nails, that contrasting color shifting shimmer and that really strong holographic, it looks magical, which I guess is the entire point of the collection, but they really pulled it off with this one. So that is the Cirque Colors Far, Far Away collection. Again, I will link Cirque Colors down below where you guys can check those out. I also have a coupon slash affiliate code with Cirque Colors, which will be on the screen and in the description box. Hope you guys enjoyed this one and I will talk to you later. Mm -hmm.